everybody CFA back with you thank you for joining us today on coins for amateurs and I hope that you are having a great day now today I wanted to have a little discussion about the term NIFC now if you've been around the coin roll hunter community for any amount of time then I'm sure you've heard that term NIFC now when I first heard this I had no idea what in the heck people were talking about so I had to start asking some questions this video is aimed at anyone who may be in the same situation that I was so here we go NIFC it stands for not intended for circulation the vast majority of the time that you're gonna hear this reference is in regards to Kennedy half dollars and in particular more modern Kennedy's the reason for this is those Kennedy halves were not produced at the mint as normal production to be sent to banks and distributed to the public. Instead, these halves were produced to be sold to coin collectors directly from the mint at a premium. And for whatever reason, at some point, they made their way out into circulation. Now, due to the low mintage of these Kennedys, they are kept by coin roll hunters and they can sell for more than face value. I know this because we here at CFA have done this ourselves. Now, these are not the only NIFC coins. Some of those half dollars that made their way to circulation came in mint sets, and the half dollar is not the only denomination that was in those mint sets. So really, any denomination from those sets could have made their way to circulation. There are also commemorative coins as well as proofs that can make their way into circulation and be found coin roll hunting or in change. Now these are all considered NIFC because they were not intended for circulation. The proof coins can often be easily recognized. If you look at the Roosevelt dime shown here, they have a frosted look to the design and the fields will have a mirror-like image. This is CFA just recently found a 1995 San Francisco minted proof Lincoln scent uh, while she was coin roll hunting and I gotta tell you she was pretty darn excited at how cool it looked because they really do look pretty darn cool. Now there's really no mistaking them and depending on the condition they will often go for more than face value. Now keep in mind the term proof has nothing to do with the condition of the coin. It simply describes the way the coin was produced. So NIFC, it's not just those modern Kennedy halves, it's anything that the mint produced that's intended to be sold directly to coin collectors and numismatists that somehow, some way, made their way into circulation. Quite often when you do find them, they will be worth more than face value. Good luck to you all. I hope you guys find lots of NIFCs that are worth more than face value. If you do, we'd love to hear about it. Drop it in the comments below. We love the discussion, the back and forth. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know that as well. If there's some other terms out there or coin roll hunting phrases you'd like to hear more about, we'd love to do a video on it, so drop some ideas for us. Thank you all for supporting Coins for Amateurs. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep Check in that change.